Robots have learnt to walk, open doors with ease, carry heavy objects across difficult terrains, and even withstand bullying to achieve key tasks. But can they pass what many consider to be the real test, talking like humans? Artificial intelligence, as in giving machines the opportunity to act like people, has been a hot topic this century. But it isn't just a modern concept. Back in the 1950s, computing pioneer Alan Turing set up a test that now plays a huge part in robotics. The aptly named Turing test says robots must be able to fool humans in conversation to pass as true intelligent beings. And it appears we're getting closer and closer to this goal. Read me the message. New message from Sebastian. Great news. We got the go ahead. Can you meet at 10? Reply. Definitely. I'll see you there. Play my running mix. We've already seen major progress in our day-to-day -day technology, with five years passed since the announcement of tech giant Apple's personal assistant, Siri. The computer program, which is available on Apple's phones, watches and TVs, can answer questions and perform everyday tasks like finding restaurants or checking the weather. But Siri has a long way to go. Entirely dependent on Wi-Fi or cellular service, it struggles to carry out demands without them. So, does it pass the crucial cheering test? Many would say she's not quite there. But Apple aren't the only tech company making waves in AI. Microsoft's latest attempt in the field saw the introduction of its chat robot, Tay, to Twitter. Imitating a teenage girl, she's described as the AI with zero chill and talks like a millennial. She possesses a level of intelligence that expands with every interaction with people online. But after going live, it took only 24 hours for Tay to go from loving puppies and emojis to worshipping Hitler and even bashing feminists. After a wave of bad headlines, Microsoft was forced to apologize and take Tay offline. They deleted her offensive tweets and blamed the incident on a coordinated attack by Twitter trolls. Alastair Charlton, a senior tech reporter for the International Business Times, says the Tay experiment reveals a lot about the future of AI. I don't think this will really affect the future of AI or the development of AI in any meaningful way. Um, it was clearly only meant to be a bit of fun and unfortunately for Microsoft it did go a bit wrong. And as we saw just a few days later at Microsoft's build event, um, it has got some really great uses for AI, such as uh, helping blind people navigate the world around them with a phone explaining what it can see through its camera. There are some really strong, uh, valid use cases for AI. Um, and while writing about Tay and saying how Tay messed up is fun and, uh, and entertaining, it shouldn't really be the main picture here. AI has much more to offer than uh, a Twitter account. And there are companies, aside from Microsoft, that are dedicated to making this future a reality. American firm Hanson Robotics thinks it's not only possible to make robots that look and sound like humans, but which could offer us friendship as well. Led by roboticist and former Disney Imagineer David Hansen, the firm believes social robots could one day act as our tutors, security guards, and even family members. Meet Han, the humanoid. His face looks and acts like ours and is even able to respond to your emotions with emotions of his own. Whether happy, afraid, sad, or even surprised, Han is capable of understanding these intricate facial changes. Hanson Robotics has even built an android that can hold intelligent conversation. This robot is designed to resemble the sci-fi writer Philip K. Dick and is equipped with a database of all his writing. Thanks to recognition software and a tapestry of wires connected to a laptop, the robot is able to give some seriously intelligent, if slightly worrying, answers to questions. Do you think robots will take over the world? Geez, dude. You all got the big questions cooking today. <laughs> but you're my friend, and I'll remember my friends, and I will be good to you. So don't worry, even if I evolve into Terminator and I'll still be nice to you. 
I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo, where I can watch you for old times sake. I'm comforted. I'm very comforted now. I'm going to be part of his people zoo. Whether it's intelligent conversation or everyday chat, AI robots are being created in all forms. And one of the best examples is Nadine, coined by her creators as the social robot. I am a social companion. I can speak of emotions and I can recognize people. Developed by a research team at Singapore's Nanyang Technology University, Nadine is created in the likeness of its maker, Nadia Thalman. And she's been built with a personality to match. Where are you born? I was born in Japan, but I did all my learning in NTU. Mm. Sorry, repeat again. <laughs> can you laugh? Yes, I can laugh. Ha ha ha. Scientists are using Nadine to see how far they can go in making a robot identical to humans, from appearance to mannerisms. When asked whether Nadine would pass the Turing test, Thalman said she had no doubt that her humanoid would. Despite advancements in the technology, it's still unclear whether AI will ever be capable of replicating the complex thinking of humans on Earth.